don't know basketball, you don't know basketball. But again, LeBron is a way better team player than Michael Jordan will ever be. 96 of H T. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, what I just stated is fact. Remember that. No, no, no. You're, 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 you're asking hypothetical questions. What about when, if he was in a league that, no, no, no. I'm giving you facts. The facts are, when Michael Jordan left the court, that same team minus Michael Jordan was still a playoff contending team. They won almost the exact same amount of games with him and without him. And then as soon as LeBron James goes to Miami, what happened? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. That same team without him won 15 fucking games. Again. That team, exactly. Bulls team had great players. Exactly, they had great players. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. They won all those championships because they had great players. It's so simple. What up, Furry? How are you, man? You are forgetting that three people joined Miami. You're not listening, Taylor. You're not listening, Furry. I'm not saying nothing about Miami. Miami's not in the picture. See, this is what you're not understanding. See, this is, it, it, again, I'm putting facts out there, and nobody can and nobody can come at the fact that I'm stating. When LeBron left the Cleveland Cavaliers, that same team that he took to the finals and lost a few times, when he left, that team lost 40 more games with him, without him. When Michael Jordan got suspended after the three-peat for gambling on the low and he went to play baseball, the team won almost the exact same amount of games without Michael Jordan. And it was the same fucking team. Period. And, and that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. I'm not talking about Miami. You're not listening, Kareem. Neither did Michael Jordan. He always had players. Grant, Pippen. Pippen without him would have been one of the best players in the league. You're not understanding what I'm saying. All I want to know is my question. Exactly. Facts. Answer, answer my question. Why did, the, why did the Cleveland Cavaliers, when LeBron left with the same team for the most part, lose 40 games or more in the next couple seasons, each season. And the same team that Michael Jordan left for two seasons won the same amount without him. That's all I'm asking you. Answer that question for me and I'll shut up. If you can answer that for me, I will literally shut the fuck up. You're, you're not getting it. <laughs> you're still not answering my question. If you can't answer, if you take that awful Cavs team and instead of adding LeBron, you add any other top, they would have won 20... Yeah, 40, brother. Oh, man. So, hold on. So then, Furry, why did the Bulls win the same amount without him? You don't even understand, man. You have no idea what you're talking about. Neither of you guys do. Messis, Rodon, and Martinez. Booyah! Beast of a card. Nice one there for the Rays. Again, you can't answer my question. I have factual questions. That's completely an awful comparison, dickwad. What? How many games did the 98-98 Bulls win? 13. Hold on, homie. Hold on, homie, because now you got me mad. I'll show you. Right here, man. I'm going to end this on this. I can't do this anymore. Here we go. They won the finals. They won the finals. 57-25 and 25 with Michael Jordan. The following year, 55 and 27 without Jordan. Two game difference. The following year, 47 and 35, an eight game difference without the best player in the league. Okay, hold on. Now, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They went right here, 2009, 61 and 21, right? With LeBron, first in the East. He leaves Miami. They won 19, 21, 24. 33, oh, he comes back, oh, they won 53, 57, 51, 50, oh, 19, 19, 22, you guys have no idea what you're talking about, again, LeBron James is a hundred times better player than Michael Jordan for his team, period, alright, here we go, let's get back to the reality, 
Felix, Mariners. Wow, look at that. Beautiful card for the Brew Crew, baby. Uh, the Brew Crew. And then we got a Green Atomic for the Reds, Velaz. And the Reds are Eric, and the Brewers are the Steph Man. Yes, a team gets better with a good player. It's added to the roster. It's terrible. Again, again, all I'm asking you is why did the Michael Jordan Bulls win 55 games without him? That's all I have to know. You're not getting it. If you don't understand how to read that, you're, you, you don't know basketball. Michael Jordan doesn't do that much extra for his team than LeBron James does. That's fact. Marcel, Perez, and Aguilar. Prove me wrong if I'm wrong, but I'm not. I'm Moyer, nice hit. If you can prove me wrong, prove me wrong. But until you do, that's just like saying Joe Montana is the best player in the world because he won four. He's undefeated in the Super Bowl. A team wins the Super Bowl, bro. Joe Montana is like the 20th best quarterback of all time, as of now. Guerrero, the Brewers. Wow, that is sick, Noah. Solid green, Correa's little brother, and... Christian Hernandez, Cubbies for my brother Kenny. Gee, what if Kobe leaves us in the league as a same? Exactly, because he was a great player. All I'm asking you is why did Michael Jordan's Bulls not lose as many games? Why? Because they had a solid foundation team, and he didn't add as, as much as people think to that team. Walters, that's why Pippen's pissed. Pippen's pissed because he didn't add that much team. Pippen deserves more credit. Walters, Radcliffe, and Flores, purple. Bulls won championships with Jordan, haven't without. Exactly, Ricky Butts. Nobody will understand that, man. Cavs won, won finals with LeBron only. Hell no. Now you're crazy, RK. Because I respect Jordan's game for what it was, but he was not exciting to watch like LeBron. Piango, Abreu, and Gentry. You go to YouTube and, and, and Google LeBron James' top assisting plays all time. You want to see some, some real exciting shit? Watch, watch LeBron James' top games with his assists. He's a fucking maniac. You go type in Jordan assist games, and he has none because he's, he's not a team player. Carrera, Guerrero is for the Rockies. Martinez and Butto. Um, Cuddlebug, it's very simple. Um, uh, my thing is this. No matter what sport you're talking about, it doesn't take one player to win everything. Period. Okay? It doesn't. Every sport is revolved around the letter T for team. Okay? What I'm trying to explain to you is that Michael Jordan didn't win all those finals. The Bulls won those finals. Period. Ramirez, Keenan, and Maid. To 250. Beautiful card there. Cubs, nice. What's poppin', Layer? How are you, brother? Drugs are bad. Just say no. Exactly. If Cleveland had two better players on the roster when LeBron left, they would have won more games, but they wouldn't have minimized. You're, you're absolutely nuts, bro. You're absolutely nuts. Morrell for the Cubs. Bubik, rookie for the Royals, and Pingago. Cubbies again, Mr. Goldberg, sir. Best assist highlight reel, Burden Magic. You know, and don't even get me started on the whole era of play. Because when Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen played in the league, yes, there were some tough guys. But every single team, all 30 teams in 28 teams, whatever it was in the NBA at the time, if you go to every one of their starting five, you're lucky. If you go to 1987 and take every, every team in the league, you're lucky if one player from each team would start in today's league. Literally, they would be bench players or G League players back then. You had a tough guy in the league. Yes, Guerrero, Ramos, and Radcliffe. You had a lot of tough players. You had the Barclays. You know, you had the Magics. You know, you had the Detroit Mad Men. You know, you had all those big time tough guys. But again. 75 to 85% of those players would not start in the NBA today. That's fact. Win Kowiski. Gold Vera. Beautiful card. Go get him, Step Man. And a Cruz. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, the Nats are down low. Hold on. I keep uh, forgetting that. The, uh, in 96, it is Paul C. Paul C. Nice hit, pal. 
Big card, buddy. Good for you, Paul C. Jordan carries his team. LeBron makes others better. Wow, AJS. AJS, stop it. James is 1 million percent the GOAT. Not a question. I don't like a lot of his off the fucking court tactics, but you know what? He's the GOAT, period. Mariners killed this break. I'm sorry, Joey Christmas. Now I know you're going to throw a tomato at the screen, bro, all right? I really want That's all I thought about the whole time was pulling you a fucking sick card. Oh, I thought about it. All right, guys, here comes Obsidian. I'm dropping another monster. Uh, maybe we'll do uh, we'll do another Obsidian or Optic. I'm sorry, homie. Please don't hate me. I don't, I don't hate you, man. All right, thanks for the fill. Mighty Blix is in the busy monizzy for shizzies. Holla.